new day new job welcome to another brick right video i'm justin i'm fraser dj drongo just explain to you exactly what we're doing here so they've had this extension built um and then they've put this they've run the bison beams through the beam and block through and created this level so this is going to be a patio area here with porcelain paving the front of this is going to be rendered there's steps coming down here onto the main garden and then where the fun actually starts to begin is we've got there's always something with us isn't there you've got or we've got a wall to build across here to raise this level and then we're gonna have a porcelain driveway in here um but the porcelain we've got has been here for two years as you can see and it's only 20 mil thick but really it should be 30 mil thick and then what we've got to do we've got to put this um 20 mil porcelain so we're going to be putting a reinforced concrete base down and then porcelain will go on top of that from here right the way up to that tree there's a block on flat with pillars wall going in there uh, it's got to put new foundations in and get that wall built and it's going to be rendered so that wall comes through here and then we've got an entrance point coming into here or maybe a pillar a bit of a wall and a pillar we'll have to wait and see because that that tree root may give us a bit of an issue and then we've got steps going down into there and then a, a level area of more porcelain going on that bit so around the other side of the house now so all this is going to be taken out um decorative stone going through there it's all tidied up and maybe build like a little timber step there's a manhole right outside the back door or the side door so we're gonna to have to put like a timber step on top of there so if they need to get to the manhole they can move it and then get into the manhole so we'll have to see how that works out but that's the job let's uh let's get on with it we did our usual sprayed it all out so you can see i think this is just like you know we do this now on every one that we can do you can see the cut there you can see the cut up against here the 90 mil you can see how many slabs you need customer can see it we've got an overhang on today so you can already see before it's laid you know you're eliminating any mistakes you're counting the slabs the customer can see it they can see where they're happy with it i just think it's a no-brainer so jay's got the mixer set up there now oh god it's hot fraser's got the the ruby set up there we lasted until half past two yesterday so don't know how long we're going to last today because it's 28 27 degrees or something um, and we've got to jet wash all the slabs because they're down there and they're stinking. So let's get on with it. What are you doing there, Just? Having my dinner. Oh. Stood up in a gorilla tub full of cold water. What are you doing now? Because it's. This is where we are with it. We did go on holiday for two weeks to Cyprus. That's why you haven't seen us. And we good morning, first day back, and we're going to whinge because we set everything up, didn't we, Frey? Yep. As you can see, the mix is on the floor by there because it started pouring down with rain. The forecast is crap. We came in, gave it a go, failed. It's half past 10, and we're going home. A new week, feel a bit better now. Lurgy's gone, Fraser's got it now though. Um, first week out of the way, it's always nice to have the first week out of the way when you come back off holiday. I feel a lot more fresh, a lot more with it, a lot more up for the job now. So we're back, I'm back, back in the game. So we've dug all this out now, all that's done, all that's ready for foundations. We've had, Adrian's taken 13 ton away, this is the second load. We've dug all this out here down there now we're going to go around the back the side of the house and break all that up for that path down there finished level is damp proof course is, is threshold and if anybody asks building control have been in because obviously somebody's built this extension they just have had that signed off on friday building control have been in they've what well, the plan we've got going on with building up to threshold encroaching on dpc has been accepted so all building control signed that off. So don't go tippy tappy in saying you can't go build into a threshold but the DPC because it's been signed off. All right, so there we are, that's straight. Levels for this, all I did was I just made sure that that trench was um, 
a coarser block or so lower than our finished level so we've got enough for the concrete and a coarser block to go below ground um that's that worked out and then well, let's do it now that one i just worked out gauge i just measured from my threshold put a level line transfer the level over to there i went down the brick set us uh, on the bed 75 mil for my fall and then all i did was from that line i just gauged down the thickness of concrete and the thickness of blocks to, to get a gauge from there onto my finished level down into there so that's about it really customer wanted steps going up onto here coming down there so that big hole you can see that we dug out yesterday that's ready for the pad for the steps today we're going to be putting this in so plan of attack is get rid of this uh peg all this out all that up there as well and that there peg all that up for concrete get the concrete in um get this wall up through here stone our area up whack it and then we've got a place for more blocks more sand and a mixing station where it's kept on site clean and tidy we can put all these walls up all the steps up and everything so that's the next phase of what we're going to be doing we've pegged all this out now then all that's done you can hear the the mix it wagon driver old trigger known him for donkey's years he's in the process of reversing in there they are mix it said it before if you want mix, if you want concrete in south wales cardiff and the valleys areas give mix it a ring you can get exactly what you want but one step that's why I've set the step up. It was an 110 mil uh, step there for a course of blocks and a bed. Um, that's it. So we'll set you up on a time lapse and uh, let's do it. I always shit myself when the concrete wagon turns up. So we're on the step so we've built these two side walls I had a chat with a customer as to whether the side walls came down like steps or whether they came out level so we all decided that the level was the best option so this is coping stone height obviously this now is the width of the step so how do you work your steps out so this is the way i tend to do it so i've built the two side walls in they're done they're level to each other they're square done right so now your steps what you do is you come down off the top of here 150 mil onto there and i've got to get this right now because our customers watching me on every riser which is the bit the upstand on the step we want every one of them to be 150 millimeters and the slabs that we're going to be using are 450 millimeters wide so we've got about a 30 mil overhang on each step so what i've done then is every single one i've marked 420 for the 30 mil overhang so that's the first step so you put a plumb line down there 100 mil blocks are going in so i've put that line there and the x represents where the brickwork or the block work is going to be and the height that it needs to finish to so i've got the, the tread i've got the riser i got the tread i got the riser for every single step marked out on the whole thing and then the last one then so you've got 150 150 treads uh, riser sorry and then this last one is about 110 mil coming out onto this grass here and I always like to take my brickwork or blockwork past where the last step's going to be. It just looks better. So what we've done now, we've shown the customer all that. We can see exactly where it's going to go. We know it's going to work before we start building it. So now we're going to build the blocks upright through here. That's one step, two, down to five. And then we'll fill the steps up with like scalpins or stone. And then the tops will be filled with concrete we can slab straight over the top of that so watch us do it you know what this side's going to be what i've done is i've transferred that measurement square off this 420 over to here 420 so that's square 
and then what I've done on top of that, I don't know if you can see this, but I've drawn a line. So I've just cut myself a piece of batten that fits in there. And I've just drawn a line between the two. And that's my line now for me to put my first course of blocks. This piece of batten now, what you can do, you can use this to range between the two to make sure your two lines match up and all your blocks are touching. You can also put it on top and use it as an extended level. So it comes in useful for many, many things, that phrase, isn't it? Yeah, man. Yeah then, one set of steps in. What we'll do now is all the hollow bits, we'll fill that up with, uh, with stone and then the last 100, 150 mil, we'll fill up with, uh, with concrete. So yeah, if you adhere to how I said to do it, um, it's not just chucking it all in, it's working out your measurements, working out your treads and your risers, getting the wall square on the side. And I always like to finish the last step with a bit of a, a lip, a bit of a nib, we call it, in there, just because it just looks a little bit nicer, the slabs set back in from the end. So customers busy trying to find some coping stone, possibly slate, to match the anthracite colour they've got on the powder coated windows. That'd look quite nice. And then hopefully if we got enough of this porcelain, we'll lay that in there. Now, next, we're on to this wall. Fraser's got a couple of blocks set up, so over there next. Just to add to this, these vents, he track through and they vent the whole extension. So customer wanted the steps where we've put them. So we're gonna have to move that vent from there to there, but there's nothing telescopic on them. There's no pipes attached to them. It's just venting straight through. So it's not an issue to move that vent from there out to here. So we're gonna do that. And also what I'd recommend is when you build this wall attached to this wall, um, put some wall starters in. You can Google them, just Google wall starters or fur fix. And basically they're just strips of uh, metal with wall ties attached to them, which are screwed to that wall. So this wall is then tied into that wall. Somebody's gonna ask me, do you need fur fix or wall starters on these? Well, I don't bother. You can if you really want, if you wanna be fussy. I don't see the point in it because these walls are not going anywhere because don't forget, all this is gonna be compacted with stone and concrete. So once that happens, these walls can't move anywhere. We got a 300 pad of thick concrete down there. So anyone asks, yeah, I, I personally wouldn't bother. I don't see the point in it, but if you want to, you want to over-engineer it, not an issue at all. Walls up, we put the steps in as well. We've been in a bit of a rush putting the steps in. So that's done, it's all been slabbed. 
same with that one that's all been slabbed and what we did we got the lines to match half bond on this following up all the way up the patio we got it all finished so if you could like and subscribe it'd be absolutely fantastic next week next Sunday that wall lurking in the background we've built that so that's next week's video see you then cheers